Hello everyone, this is teacher Joanna and I will be your teacher in values. Okay, so now before we start our lesson, what was our lesson? Um, let's have a review. What was our lesson last meeting? Okay, very good. It was all about... It was all about respect, okay? So now, before anything else, before we, um, we proceed, let us first have these words. Are you ready? Okay, so everyone, let us read obligation. Again, obligation. Next, we have free. Everyone, let us read free. And then we have commitment. Everyone, commitment. And then we have support. Everyone, let us read support. So the words are obligation, free, commitment, and support. So do you know the meaning of the words? Okay, so let us know the meaning of the words. So when we say obligation... Okay, obligation is a duty, action to which a person is morally or legally bound. That is obligation. Okay, when we say free, not under control or power of another. That is free. Do you understand? Okay, and when we say commitment, being dedicated to a cause. That is commitment. Do you understand me? And support is give assistance. So that, um, those are the meaning of the words. Now today, we are going to talk about helping others. So um, are you helping others? Okay, do you help other people? Very good. So now let us talk about helping others. Now I want you to remember that to help others is to recognize the goodness in them. Okay? So you have to rec um you recognize the goodness in them. That's why you help them. Do you understand me? Okay, that's the first one. And then to help others is to be concerned about the welfare of others. Okay? So you are concerned about the welfare of other people. That's why you help them. Okay? So, first, you recognize their goodness, and then you are concerned about their welfare, and then to help others is to accept that we are all born equal, okay? So, everyone, okay, every one of us, rich or poor, we are born equal and have the same access to everything, right and good. Do you understand me? So, we are all equal, we are all born equal, and we have the same access to everything, right and good. Do you understand me? Okay, very good. And then, to help others is to give them back their confidence in themselves. Okay? So, to help others is to give them back what? Their confidence in their, um, in themselves. Okay? And to help others is to heal their pain and their hurts. So once you help the once you help other people, you heal their pain and their hurts. Do you understand me? Okay, so to help others is to make others realize that they are important. Once you help others, they realize that they are important. Do you understand me? Okay, very good. And um, Anne Frank once said that no one has ever become poor by giving. Okay, so in the diary of Anne Frank, he said that no one has ever become poor by giving. Giving meaning helping other people. Okay, no man on earth becomes poor by giving. Do you understand? Okay, so... To help someone is not an obligation. Always remember that. It's not an obligation, not a command or duty. Okay? To help someone, it's not an obligation, it's not a command, and it's not a duty. To help someone is a choice. Okay? It is a choice. It's not an obligation, it's not a command, it's not a duty, but it's a choice. And you freely give it to other people be, without being forced to. Do you understand me? 
So it is a choice. You help other people because you choose to help them. You help them freely. Okay, you give them help freely and without being forced by anyone. Do you understand? That is helping. Do you understand me? Again, it is not an obligation. It is not a command. It is not a duty. But helping is a choice. It's your choice. You freely give it to other people. Do you understand me? Okay, so helping someone doesn't expect any reward. So when you are helping someone, you don't expect any reward. Okay? Because God knows everything you do. Do you understand? You don't need, okay? You don't need to expect rewards to the to the person you helped. Okay? Because God will give give it to you. Okay? God will bless you. The moment you help other people, God sees it and then God will bless you. Do you understand me? Okay, very good. So don't expect anything in return. Helping you give it freely, okay? It's a choice. It's your choice. Now, help is a commitment, okay? A commitment. Okay, remember that commitment is being dedicated to a cause. So, help, helping is a commitment to reach out to others, okay? So, it is a commitment for us to reach out to other people. Do you understand? Okay, very good. So, help means to support. Okay, it is to support, to benefit, to do good, to cure, and even feed someone. That is helping. Do you understand? It is a benefit to other people. Support to other people. Do good to other people. Cure other people. people or even feed them. That is helping. Do you understand me? Okay, very good. Again, helping is not an obligation, is not a command, is not a duty. But instead, helping is a choice. You give it freely. Okay? You don't expect anything in return. You commit to reach out to other people. You support, you benefit, you do good, you cure, you, you even feed other people. Do you understand me? But this is, um, this is the thing that I want you to remember. No one has ever become poor by giving. Okay? No one has ever, uh, has ever become poor by helping. Do you understand me? Always keep that in mind. You will never be poor, okay? You will never, never be poor by giving or by helping other people. You may be poor here on earth, but in heaven, you are very, very rich. Do you understand me? Remember, God sees everything. He rewards us. He bless us. He gives us what um, we are due. Do you understand me? So I have here um, a poem by the great American poet Emily Dickinson. So this poem best captures the spirit of helping others. Now I will read you, I will read to you the poem. So I am um, listen everyone. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Okay, what a beautiful poem. It's like a, <laughs> it's very emotional poem. It's about helping. Okay, so read this poem. Okay. And reflect on it. You shall not live in pain, uh, in vain, unless you stop one heart from breaking, you ease one life from aching, you cool one pain, you help a fainting robin unto his nest again, and then still uh, you shall not live in vain. 
Do you understand me? Okay, so that is helping. Do you understand? Okay, keep it in mind. In your mind and in your heart. And apply it to yourself. Apply it to your lives. Okay? So, I have here a question. What is helping? So, helping is not a duty, not an obligation, not a command. Helping is what? Helping is a choice. Helping is freely given. Helping doesn't need, okay, doesn't expect any reward. It is a commitment to reach out to other people. It means to support, to benefit, to do good, to cure, and to even feed someone. That is helping. Do you understand? So, how can you help other people even in a simple way? Okay, even just um, giving them food. The beggar, if you see beggars, you give them food. You give them water. You see an old, an old woman crossing the street, you help, her, you help her cross the street. You see your teacher um, carrying heavy books, you help your teacher carry the books. Okay, that's the way on how to help other people, even in a simple way. Okay, but remember that once you help, you give it freely. Okay, it's your choice. No one forced you. You understand me? Okay, very good. So, what did you learn today? Today, we have learned about helping. Helping means... Um, helping means... It's a choice. It's freely given. No one forced you to do it. It's not an obligation. It's not a command. Um, it's not a duty. But it's your choice. You freely give it. Okay? Helping means you support, you benefit, you do good, you cure, and you even feed someone. That is help helping. Okay, now if you really did understand the lesson, let us proceed to your practice exercise. So, your practice exercise is you have to answer activity A, page 84. That is your practice exercise. And here is your evaluation. Answer activity letter C, page 90. Okay, so don't forget to answer your practice exercise and your evaluation because I will check it. Do you understand me? And here is your assignment. You have to answer activity letter B, page 89 do you understand okay so don't forget to do your assignment so thank you for listening see you on the next video bye bye